So uh, that's it, you know, and um, I, I couldn't work anymore. And uh, plus, you know, there's ageism, um, you know, I was pushing 50. And uh, for all you folks out there that enter showbiz, the best advice I ever got was by the time you hit 40, you better have your own production company. Because once you hit 40, if you're still a freelance producer, as I was, as is obvious from any five minutes of this interview you may have watched, um, the problem ultimately, ultimately will become, if you're an executive producer, do you hire the 47-year-old who's going to charge you this much money, or do you hire the 28-year-old who has certainly a lot of experience and you can get him for half of the money? Um, well, the answer is obvious. Uh, so, yeah, you know, at 50 and, and now at 67, you know, people aren't clamoring uh, to get me into show business. Um, not that I'm asking, but uh, yeah, I mean, I had a great career. As you can tell, I had a lot of fun and um, it was very rewarding. You know, when I think back on it, um, it's amazing considering, you know, I only gave myself five days out here to find a job and I was able to find a job every 13 weeks for 40 years. So that in itself hopefully is a, uh, um, I don't know, something. Is that, would, is that the advice that you give people whenever someone asks you for uh, advice on what, how you would produce television or how to get involved in the television industry? Well, for, you know, I would say take, take any job that's available to you, even if you think it's beneath you. Take it anyway, because you will be able to prove you. Once you're in the door, then you're able to prove yourself, okay? And uh, you can't be shy. If you're shy... Get over it. You know, you just have to, like I did, um, push yourself, push yourself to the limits, um, you know, beyond your own personality. And if you have to put on an act, then do that. OK, but you got to be noticed and you got to be capable. When somebody asks you a question of, of your opinion, even if you think if you're not sure of your opinion, be sure of what you're saying regardless. And, you know, and always you know, be positive. You could be on the wrong track totally, but by being on the wrong track and believing in what you're doing, you're going to be more successful than if you're wishy-washy and you say, well, maybe I could do it that way or may, no, you say, you know, this is the way I think you should do it, but I'm open to other ideas. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I just, you know, if you have the ability to write, just write. You know, just keep on writing, write, you know, whether it's game shows, talk shows, TV shows, you know, I mean, uh, Harry and I uh, came up with a show um, simply because we liked the title. OK, we didn't sell it, but we did sell it to the uh, uh, person that was involved. OK, there was a guy named Morton Downey Jr., who was very popular on TV. OK, in the time of Jenny Jones and Phil Donahue and the Richard Bay show. Uh, Morton Downey show was very popular. It was another one of these, you know, uh, like Maury Povich type shows, except Morton. Da Everybody hated Morton Downey. But Harry and I, Harry Friedman and I came up with a show. It was called Mort's Court of Last Resort. We love that title. Mort's Court of Last Resort. It was just so euphonious. And uh, we pitched it to Mort and he loved it. And uh, and basically, you know, I mean, it, it says what it is. You know, if you can't get satisfaction anywhere else, Go to Mort, he'll solve your problem. It was as simple as that, you know, and that's it. I mean, just take, you could take simple ideas and with the right title, you can sell it. You know, I thought, what will you think of next was a great title, but Shark Tank sold. Um, okay, go figure. So, um, yeah, you know, unfortunately, Mort passed away. Uh, but, you know, Harry and I probably could have sold that show because Mort was hot at the time, died an untimely death. And, you know, Harry and I both had uh, successful careers. So you just, you never know. Um, you know, just keep writing, keep coming up with ideas, register them with the Writers Guild if you can. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, you know, don't, don't shy away from anything. And again, even if you don't believe in a show as some of the shows I'm telling you about, just go do the best you can with what you got. And, um, you know, you will learn the good people, the better the people around you are, the more successful you're going to be, certainly. 